Many new Walking Dead fans have no idea who Jeffrey D. Munn is, but they know who Jeffrey D. Morgan is. Please kill me now. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, today I am talking about Jeffrey D. Munn, who played Del Horovich back in The Walking Dead Season 1 and 2. He was handpicked by Frank Darabont back in Season 1 and 2. They were very, very good friends. And of course, Jeffrey D. Munn um, played Del beautifully. Del was one of my favorite characters of all time in the old days of The Walking Dead. He was a very divisive character. Some people thought he was annoying. Some people thought he was freaking awesome, like myself. I thought this character was awesome, but other people thought other people thought that he was annoying and he got in the way, blah, blah, blah. But um, I thought he was a really awesome character. I thought he held on to his humanity, but we can all agree that his death episode was in a way rushed and poorly executed. Now, a lot of people always wondered why he, you know, got so annoying in his final episode. People always, to this day, wonder. And I will be telling you guys the answer right now. So, <laughs> let's jump right into it, shall we? Like I said before, Jeffrey D. Munn was a good, close, personal friend of Frank Darabont. He played in The Green Mile, he played in Sean Shank Redemption, and a lot of other movies. But, specifically Frank Darabont's films. And these guys were collaborators. They loved working together, and Frank Darabont handpicked Jeffrey Demon. Handpicked, guys. But a lot of people know that Frank Darabont was fired at the beginning of The Walking Dead Season 2. Um, he had already, you know, kind of supervised the first seven episodes. He had, like, you know, supervised the writing team and the directing team. So Glenn Mazzara came in, and he finished episode 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And, you know, Jeffrey Demon, he went along with it because, of course, they had already written it. They had already, you know, planned everything out, and he did it for his friend, Frank Darabont. But in episode 8, this was all Glenn Mazzara. Glenn Mazzara just had a fresh, just thing to work with, and Frank, Frank Darabont was long gone, and Jeffrey Demon, you could just tell that he did not really want to have a part in the show anymore. His lines were drastically cut. I'm not lying. Go back and look. They were cut. They were cut like this. Boom, boom, boom. That's a phone. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, most of his lines were cut in the second half of season two. I'm, I'm not joking. If you go back now and watch, he's, he's kind of in the background. He doesn't really say much. He says like a couple lines. But this isn't Dell because Dell, most of the time, you know, he was the voice of the group. He would always be up front. He would always be, um, you know, he would be helping the group. He wouldn't be in the background like this. Oh, hey, guys. No, 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 no. Dell would be up in the front being the voice of reason. But in the second half of season two, if you look back at it, you, you'll start to notice that Jeffrey Demon really doesn't have a part in the show anymore. He's not even in a couple of the episodes in the second half. He's not in episode, what episode is it? I think it was episode 10. He's not in that episode. Uh, and it's very depressing because episode 11 was his death episode and they could have really explored, uh, explored his character in episode 10, what he thought about Randall. But it was all forced on us in episode 11, how he thought on, of Randall. And the reason why, let's just jump into it. The reason why was Jeffrey Demon was not impressed with the show after they killed, uh, well, they fired Frank Darabont. He wanted to be slashed from the show. He wanted to be done with the show. And he, this is just a theory, but I predict that Jeffrey Demon, you know, he wanted to just be in the background. He didn't really want to be in the front anymore because he was just upset. So in his death episode, they shoved in all of Jeffrey Demon's lines that he should have had in the second half of season two, but they put it all together in one episode. And that's why it kind of in a way feels crammed and rushed and forced. And it was because Jeffrey Demon wanted out. He didn't really want to be in the show anymore. He wanted to be killed off. I heard rumors that at the last minute he decided to actually live but it was already too late because they, they had written his death uh, scene so jeffrey demon who played dell was not supposed to die in season 2 episode 11 he was actually supposed to keep going on it was actually him who would have gotten bit in season 3 episode 1 not herschel and you can kind of tell that they had planned dell's death to be instead t-dog's death for season 3 because t-dog in a way gets Dell's death where he kind of protests against the group and he wants to save somebody. 
It's a lot like Dell's death, but toned down drastically. I predicted that T-Dog's death was actually supposed to be Dell's death, but when since Jeffrey Demon wanted out, they took it and made it Dell's death, and then they had to tone down T-Dog's death because they can't do it a second time. Am I making any sense? But yeah, uh, I'm not joking, ladies and gentlemen. If you go back and watch the first half of season one, uh, season two, and then the second half of season two, you can really see a difference with Jeffrey Demon, who plays Dell. He's not really in the front anymore. The only exception is his death episode. That episode, he he's like a main focus. But the other episodes, episode eight, nine, and ten, he's really doing nothing, which is which is depressing because he used to be a very big character. He like Del, uh, like Shane said, he had a big mouth, a loud mouth, but. And then in episode, you know, 8, 9, and 10, he really had nothing to say. And you could say that it was because of the shocking horror that he went through in uh, episode 7 where Shane busted down the barn. But I think I have a bigger theory. It's because Jeffrey Demon was mad at the crew at the time and he just didn't want to be a part of The Walking Dead anymore. That is my theory. That is why Jeffrey Demon was excluded from season three, but um, Dell would have appeared most likely in season three of The Walking Dead. That is why Dell's death is just so out of place, and that's why his death appears one episode before Shane's, and I think it, in a way, ruins Shane's death. Looking back at it, it ruins Shane's death because Shane doesn't have enough time to breathe. Episode 11 really should have been uh, Shane's focus of him plotting to destroy Rick, but it, in a way, it just comes out of nowhere in episode 11, uh, episode 12, Shane's death. But I hope you enjoyed my video. Leave a like, comment down, com comment down, comment down below, and subscribe, and do whatever the heck you want to do. And goodbye. Bye, everyone.